Hello fellow 3D printing peeps. Hello fellow Ender 5 Plus owners. I'm here with the gigantic Creality Ender 5 Plus. This Ender 5 Plus has a bad extruder stepper motor and today we are going to go ahead and replace it. To do this we have to remove the stepper motor from the extruder. You may notice that you can't see my extruder. That's because the giant bed is in the way. The first thing we are going to do is lower our bed. That's better. Now that you have clear access to your extruder, we'll start removing that stepper motor. As you know, the stepper motor is sitting behind your extruder and it's bolted in place by having the extruder and stepper mount sandwiched between the extruder and the stepper motor. Starting with the two at the top of your extruder. We are going to remove it by simply using the Allen keys that came with your printer. Unfortunately, we are going to remove the tension spring screw. This will give us access to the screw behind it and we'll be removing that screw. On the other side, there is another screw. We will be removing that also. As you know, the stepper is attached by four screws. So there's one more under this arm and the fourth screw is the arm itself. So we have to remove, unfortunately, this arm. When you do the arm, be very careful that you don't lose the spring. Gently remove the arm. You'll see that screw number three is now out and screw number four has been exposed. We will remove that now. When you remove screw number four, I want you to have your hand on the stepper motor because the stepper motor is going to release. And there it is, the old stepper motor. We are going to replace that motor with a Creality branded 4240 motor. You can get this from the official Creality store or the official Creality Amazon shop or from Comgrow, which is an official Creality partner. Here is the new stepper and here is the original stepper. The only difference you will notice is that this one has a permanently pressed on gear and this one has a gear that is installable and removable with a grub screw. To install the gear, we are going to face it up and we are going to loosen these two grub screws. Just stick your little Allen key in and give it a little turn and do the same on the other side. We will now take the gear and slide it over the shaft of the new motor. To set the gear height, simply take your original motor and move the gear until the teeth are about where you think the original teeth are sitting. Then tighten the gear by tightening these same two grub screws. And there you have it. Now that your fancy new stepper has its fancy new gear on it, we will go ahead and put it back in place by doing everything in reverse order. Place the motor through the mount with the electrical connection facing down. And place the extruder over the bracket. Secure things in place with the top two screws. Pro tip to help get both of these screws to line up, do not tighten the first one all the way down. Make it firm, then you'll have a little wiggle room to seat the second one. Then you can go back and tighten the first one. Next up is the recessed socket. This is the flush screw. We need to do this first because we will be covering this screw with the arm. Now that this screw is taken care of, we can go ahead and cover it with the arm, installing our fourth screw. Replace the spring. Make sure you have the plunger inside the spring and seat the spring over the screw, pressing it down and resting it underneath the threads of the tension screw. 
replace the tension screw. Making sure the screw seats into the plunger that's inside your spring. And we're done. One final important step, don't forget to plug in your new stepper motor. And there it is, we have successfully replaced the extruder stepper motor on the Creality Ender 5 Plus.